there is none like the Lord. His voice is like a soliloquy calling to you and me. Hear the word of the Lord, my people. Hear what I would say. I call you to my rest. I call you to my best. Oh, you will not be able in your own strength to endure what is coming on the earth. But by my power, you will stand strong, and you will proclaim my word. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. This is the time that I have spoken of by my prophets. All I've spoken, that will I do. Open up your heart. Don't say no to my spirit. Let go of everything else, everything else but me. What is that you're clutching in your hand? My Moses, it's an ineffective rod. As long as you cling tightly to it, but cast on the ground your rod. Find it become the rod of God. Oh, lift up your voice and make the choice for the Lord knows how. Let's be as those of old in Hebrews 11, who set their affection on things above, not on things beneath. Even Abraham, the father of faith, left an example to us to set our faith on him who is unseen. 
and on the rewards which are sure to follow those who live in this present life a test to see if we will live in the midst of a world screaming for our attention, vying for our affections, reaching for us. The world of the seen, the world of the temporal, the world that shall burn. And yet, while in the midst of this, live for the kingdom which knows no end, with fixed and firm foundations, whose builder and maker is God. Abraham lived in a tent, as did Isaac and Jacob, heirs of the same promise. For he looked forward to a country, <laughs> a better country, a heavenly one. When he got to the promised land, he said, Isaac and Jacob, this ain't it. Everywhere you walk, it's yours, but this ain't it. It's glorious, it's wonderful, but this is not it. Hallelujah. God has prepared a, a kingdom. And they admitted they were strangers and sojourners in the earth. They did not set their affection on things beneath, but on things above. They confessed that they were aliens and strangers in the earth. I confess I'm a stranger, an alien in the earth. I confess I'm a stranger within the earth. Will you say that with me? Yes. I confess I'm a stranger within the earth. <laughs> yes, I confess I'm a stranger within the earth. They looked for a country, not their own that they had left, not a temporal one, a country they could have returned to, but they were looking for a better one, a heavenly one, and confessed that they were aliens, strangers in the earth. Wherefore, because of that, because of their perception and pursuit, of that eternal unseen realm of God. It is written, God is not ashamed to be called their God and he has prepared for them a city. Oh God, we look forward to the city prepared with hands of men. We set our heart and affections above. We lay hold of your promises to walk free from sin. That you might be transformed within. Yes. Do it. For by these God has given us exceeding great and precious promises that through them we might become partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that's in the world through lust. Yes. Lay a hold of his promises that you might be changed. Lay a hold of his promises that your life might be arranged. Lay a hold of his promises that you might be changed within. Lay a hold of his promises and you'll walk in victory over sin. Reckon yourselves dead to sin but alive to God. Ha <laughs> ha! Reckon yourselves alive to God. When Christ, who is our life, appears, we will appear with Him in glory. When Christ, who is our life, appears, we will, will appear with Him in glory. As you have therefore received Mashiach, Walk in Him. Let the roots of your being go deeply, deeply into Jesus. For you are a branch and He is divine. <laughs> we got to stay in Him if we We're going to bear fruit to glorify Him. It's only His life that needs to be seen. Jesus wants to be revealed. Through you and me. You don't bury it. You acknowledge it. 
What does it say? If you confess your sins, he's faithful and just to forgive you of your sins, cleanse you from all unrighteousness. So quickly, get on with it. Get on with it. Get on with it. The Father is seeking worship. The Lord gave me an analogy. The body of Christ is like a glove. I don't have one on me. It was back there. Glove is inanimate. Has no expression till you put the hand in it. And the Lord's looking for a people that he can wear like a glove. He can mold and do what he wants. He wants a body. Aren't we called the body of Christ? And this is no put down to anybody that has to deal with it. But the body of Christ has been spastic. A spastic body, and I've met people like this, sometimes with brilliant minds, but the body won't do what the mind wants. And they'll drool and they'll do things in a sad state. When inside, they know exactly what they want to do, but the body won't let them. And the body of Christ has in many ways been that way. Well, let me do this for you, Jesus, even with good motives, apart from the bad ones, even the good things. But I hear, I hear the Lord saying, look away from everything that will distract unto Jesus, the author and finisher of your faith, including your ministry. Don't just look away from the bad things. The good can become the enemy of the best. If we come in here with a concept of this will get the people going, how antichrist can you be? Because let me say, the Lord dealt with me, and I'm going to be quiet. Let Stacy take this. Many times, you know, we can stand up and be antichrist without spitting on the name of Jesus. Because the Lord dealt with me, what is antichrist? What's Christ? The anointed, the anointed one. If I stand here and give you a message that was good last week, like my nylight was good. Remember, it, it bred worms the next day. You remember that? It was given of God, but if they didn't handle it right, it bred worms and stank. Remember? And if I give you a message God gave me last week because it worked, but God's telling me to do this now, I'm resisting His Spirit. The Lord's trying to bring us to quick, ready obedience. All that matters this moment is that Father is pleased. And He's not pleased at just us doing things. He's pleased with us being sensitive to His Spirit.